Hi, in the last video, we talked about how to use the count ifs formula to recreate a rank and then add some criteria to that rank to create a conditional rank, which is a really cool thing to do. I recommend you watch the video if, that, if that's a new concept. But today we're gonna to use a similar methodology to create an alphabetical rank. And that might not sound like a useful thing, but there are definitely situations in modeling and more complicated models I've done where having an alphabetical rank is actually super helpful to break ties. So we're gonna say here one plus count ifs, then we're gonna select this whole range all the way to the bottom. We're gonna lock it, hit a comma. I'm gonna scroll back up just so I can show you what I'm doing here. And then weirdly enough, the next step is to say this and then less than ampersand and then the first cell in this range, which is D5, don't lock it in parentheses. So I'm gonna explain what this is doing in a moment. First, I wanna show you what it does. I'm gonna hit enter and then copy this down and then rank by our new, our new alphabetical rank. And you can see that this is making lots of sense. You can see A names, B names, C names, etc. So this is definitely working. So let's talk about why it's working. You're asking Excel a weird question. You're asking it to evaluate uh, the, this range and you're asking it to count how many cells in the range have a, uh, essentially are higher up on the alphabet than, um, higher up alphabetically than the cell we're looking at. Um, and to explain what I mean by that, Excel is essentially interpreting text in a numerical way when it's asked this kind of question. So here we have a very simple formula, just equals this greater than that. It will create a false or a true statement. This is a simple Boolean. Um, or a simple, a simple yes, no, simple, true, false. So right here, you can see we're asking, is A uh, greater than uh, Z? And here you can see that's not true. It's not greater than Z. So, so Excel is making a, a value statement on these letters. It's making a numerical, it's, it's understanding these letters in a numerical way. And here, if I ask that question, but I switch the order, it's true. So it's saying that Z is greater than A. So it's seeing A as being a lower number essentially than Z. It's seeing things that are essentially higher up on the alphabet, closer to the A side as having a lower value. And it's seeing um, text strings that are closer to the Z side as having a higher value. So when you understand that, this formula starts to make sense. For each of these cells, we're asking, well, how many cells in this range have an alphabetical value that is lower, that is towards the A side? And you can see here, we're saying, well, this is six, right? Because it's counting down and it's the sixth one. So there's six, there's five, five items, five names that have a, a lower or closer to the A side alphabetical value. And then we're adding one. And that gives us our nice rank of the sixth rank astronaut based on their alphabetical rank. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, uh, if it was, a, a comment or a like would be interesting. Definitely comment if you have any questions. And uh, please join us next time for other videos in this series. Thanks so much.